to the chat window. Hello, Miss Valeria. Valeria's Crafty Corner. <clears throat> I had to get. Hello again, Mr. Timothy. I had to get on the phone with, um, not on the phone, but on a live chat with StreamYard to figure out um, what was going on in Switch Browser. How are y'all doing tonight? So I'm, we'll give it another minute again, and then we'll get started. So had to switch from Chrome to Firefox because it was all of a sudden it just said, don't. Your browser cannot, hello, Miss Elsa. Your browser cannot connect to your devices. Weird. Never had that problem with Google Chrome before. So uh, I don't, I honestly, I don't know. So, but how is everybody doing tonight? I hope y'all doing better than I am doing. Yes, glad to be back. Although it took me, it seems like forever in a day, troubleshooting the issue. It was like at the end of it, it's like, you know, type in what the problem was. And then all of a sudden I got an email saying, contact us. We'll help you. I'm like, okay. So needless to say, tech support for StreamYard is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So I'll give them props for that. So we'll give it another, we'll give it a minute or so. We'll give it a minute. I'm going to give it a minute, and then we'll get started again. And hopefully we have no problems in terms of this. And like I said before, the Steve stuff, or some of the stuff is in the store, but most of it is not in there. These are items that just came to me within the last couple of days. You see something you like and you want it, you can message me, or you can wait till I put it into the store. I'm hoping by... Friday, everything that you see today will be up in the store and ready to purchase and ready to buy. Remember, there's always a coupon code for you all in the group. Save five will always save you five dollars off of your order of twenty five dollars or more. So always remember that that does that doesn't go away. It's always there for you to utilize it. Which ones are being? If you spend twenty five bucks, you save five bucks. It's like twenty percent off of your order. Just saying. So I do that as a appreciation for you all that are members of Kate's Crafty Closet Group. Like one of the perks of being part of it. Hello, Mr. Facebook or Mrs. Facebook user. I'm going to log into Facebook so I can see who is commenting. Because um, if you don't log in, if you don't allow StreamYard to use your profile, it won't display your name. So anybody up to anything good? Like I wanted to craft today. Did I get around to it? Nope. Move my desk around, rearrange stuff. And it's like, by the time I got it all said and done, it was time to do this live. How are you doing tonight? I'm going trying to find the stream yard in the group so I can see who's commenting. Captions are auto generated. Oh, Miss Leah, hello. And Miss Carrie, how are y'all doing? Okay, so we got five people on Facebook, and we got seven people total. All right, we almost up. Our minute is almost up, so we're going to go ahead and finish what we started. So, like I said, we're going to show you the new things that are going to be up into the store, and then we're going to. I want to play around with one of the new products, and also paint with some liquid pearls because I have. I just realized that. I have a lot of liquid pearls that I've, I've never used, and it's like, might as well use it, right? So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, Miss Jody. If you have any questions about products, please let me know. Share your ideas. Maybe it can inspire somebody else. Um, this is, like I said before, the craft card stock. This is from the new ideology release. These are the cool colors. So these are the colors that you get into the pack. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. <laughs> That's an oxymoron, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a cool colors, and I just said that it was cool. So remember, you can sand them down. Um, and like I said earlier, if you wasn't here, 
or if he was here, I apologize for repeating myself. I do have some sanding blocks in the store, which I literally just had up here not long ago, but Lord knows what I put them and where I did with them. But they're only a dollar, and you can sand down your paper and not have to go searching for it. Oh, here it is. Go searching for a piece of um, sandpaper. There's two different grits on here. Two sides are the same grit, and one side is a different grit. So we have these, and like I said, they're only a, they're only a dollar. All right, so we have that. And then, like I mentioned before, we have the uh, worn wallpaper scraps. Um, I think these are cool that it's not just paper that you get all these cutout pieces and stuff to decorate. Like here are the cutout pieces and all the paper and you get in there. Great to um, decorate card prompts, um, mini albums. I'm thinking about tiny books. This is a lot of stuff that you can use. Um, for these for you went off when you started showing a paper pack. Yeah. So I was got that. And here is those tin tops. I've never used these before. I've used the regular tins, but I just put business cards in them. Like if I'm going to a um, an expo or something, I put my business cards in there, but I've never used these in a project. So these are kind of cool. These little tin tops. Like and very vintagey. Let's try to put the light going on in here. I'll just tilt it so you can kind of get a, an idea of what they look like. Okay. And let's go up. We have this. Um, these are baseboards. Even though it says Christmas, um, it's plaid. We do plaid all year round, right? Like the brawny man. We can pretend we're the brawny man and wear it year round, okay? And so we can craft with it year round, too. So even though it's Christmas, it's, um, yeah, it's plaid. We can do it whatever we want to do with it. Um, next up is a 3D embossing folder. This is called Kaleidoscope, if I'm not mistaken. Perfect to use with that craft card stock and perfect to sand it off the top and get that distressed look and reveal that craft card stock off of it. So... Hopefully I'm still here every so often. Please say something. Then we have this colorized die. Um, this one is called Skelly. So this is a layering, and it gives you 10 dies, and it tells you what colors to use and to layer it up. Wouldn't this be great for a, an over-the-hill birthday card or something? I think it'd be cool. So we got that one. We have this is the metallic sticker book so kind of you see what it looks like it's really pretty you're like look at the that metallic in there gorgeous and then you got these little stickers nice right i actually i kind of want this for myself the white in the gold that's pretty would be funny okay thank you valeri for i like these stickers mm. See, this is the problem with I want stuff for myself, too. All right. Then we have the 3D Texture Fade. This is an old typewriter. This one is kind of cool. That's a typewriter embossing fold. I like that. The grunginess and the amazingness that you can get with this. Like, wow. Yeah, I love that sticker book. I, don't, I just, I do. It's just, I can just see the possibilities with that. It's just like, it's, that black and gold just pop. Who doesn't like black and gold, right? Wow, this is an awesome folder. I think I might have got one of those from myself. I ordered one of those from you. Yes, ma'am, you did. Yours is in your box. Um, it's in your box. Um, then we have some paper dolls. These are the original paper dolls that has the mixture of the groups and the solos. Um, so these are the just the, the original ones. Weirdly enough, the original ones had the same code as the solos so be careful if you purchase them online or even with me um that if you want the solos you make sure that it has the word solo up at the top in this corner right here but this is the same same item number you'll see down here same item number as the original and the solos just letting you know that okay and then the groups are a completely different item number. 
which was kind of confusing when I ordered that. That's what came and not the solos. So that's how I learned that lesson. This is has to be one of the most popular stamp sets that I have sold in the store recently. I probably ordered this four times. Um, it's amazing. Great for adding texture, um, grunging things up. And then you can just put this on a regular card. Shabby chic it up with these scripts down here. And just the things that you can put in here, it's like that's a perfect way just to emboss a sentiment on top of that. Like this is amazing. Like this stamp set. And it's like $5.99. So you can't beat that price point for the things that you can do with that. Um, this is another item. This is the linen tape. Um, there's two different linen tapes that are available. This is the floral one. I have to say, I kind of like this tape. I'm thinking this would kind of be good down the seams of books um, and stuff like that. Of course, you can always use it on your cards and mixed media projects and the possibilities are just endless on it. So, so this is awesome. I think I got me one of those myself, myself too. Um, so here is, this is the one that's got the groups in it. As you can see where it says groups up here in the corner. Just remember when you order stuff, look and the picture and make sure it says exactly what you're looking for. So these are just all multiple people in a cutout. So you're not getting single ones. They're all doubles or triples or however many people in there. In there. These are kind of cool. You get a lot of them in here. This thing is really thick of paper dolls. And you ask yourself, what will you do with paper dolls? You'd be surprised what you can do with these paper dolls. I was looking to see how many pieces are in here, but... That, oh, 50. You get 50 pieces in there. So they really, there's a lot of them in there. So we've got that. Then we have, this is the collage paper. Is that, yeah, collage paper. This is the entomology. So this is like the bugs and stuff. This is really some cool stuff, though. This is really cool to decorate tags, cards, any other kind of projects that you like. So I just love it. It's so cool. Okay, so that's the entomology. Um, let me save that for last because that's going to be part of the demo and later. Um, this was, I have put a pre-order up for anybody who was interested in this collection from Stamperia. This is the Sea Dream. And so I have a couple extra of the paper pack. This is, I do believe, the 8x8 pack. Now these don't come in pads, just an FYI. Um. But these are the pieces that you get in here, and they're also double-sided. Like, look at how gorgeous this is. Like, aren't those papers just gorgeous? But these are from Stamperia. You get 10 double-sided faceted sheets. So pretty. Okay, and then to go along with that, there is chipboard pieces, um, which I don't know where those are at. Nope, they're, they're around here, I promise you. We'll come across them. This is um, from Dina Wakely. These are mask and stencil. You get profiles. So this is what you get up here. You get the little mask as well. So those are profile stencil from Dina. Okay. This is a stamp set from Darkroom Door. Um, let me. This is a film strip. Um, Y'all want to know what I bought this for? For the possibility of using it for swatching like you can just cut that like stamp that die cut it out into the strips that are just like the film and there you can do swatches you can swatch your inks you can do it in watercolor paper swatch your watercolors so that's what i was thinking when i got that and you can pull punch those and put them on those metal rings like it's like it's just perfect way to swatch stuff and it's just you get five, so that's you can't beat that. This, so that's why I purchased that. Um, next up, we have um, this is some Stamperia. This is the rice paper. Um, basically, it's like a decoupage type of thing. But this one, I believe, I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it has a name. I'm sure it does. Um, but you get um, 
this one is called Decrobelia. Um, I don't know what this one's called, but there's several of them. So we have those. Kind of cool though. Look how pretty those are. Just a decoupage. Or like I can just see doing a lot of stuff with that. So that's from Stamperia. Then we have another rice paper as well from Stamperia. Look how pretty those are. Look at those butterflies. Like shut the front door. Look at that. Look how pretty. Like I was looking to see where it tells you like the name of the collection that it comes from, but I probably will be I'll find it when I go in and put it into the store. But look how gorgeous this is. Too pretty. So that's like the back side of it. And they're like three something, I think. Um I thought this was these were cool. I've never seen these before. Have you? These are transparent wings. Like, yeah, these are transparent wings from Tim and Ideology. So the butterflies and all that, the transparency. Sort of that page is good. Like, isn't it gorgeous? I like it. I love it. And so this is like transparent wings. I think I think I've never seen these before. I think these are freaking cool, right? So that's new to me. Um, this is from Kaiser Craft. This is just like a stamp set. This is great to add texture. You know, great for mixed media. And you can make backgrounds with these with card making too. So we have the these. We have these. Like the texture, and that's pretty cool. If I haven't seen those either, I don't know how I came across them, but I'm glad I did. Okay. And next up, we have from Spellbinders. Um, have a I have a couple of them because this is a plaid embossing folder. Um, you can't really tell that it's plaid. Um, from because it's you they use white with a white background you cannot see that that's plaid but i promise you it's plaid it's like yeah the wings are awesome you used to watch so many things for those wings like what i can barely see it and i'm sitting here in front of it but it's a plaid embossing folder so got those can never go wrong with plaid, right? All right, next up we have this Spellbinders flower dye. I do not know how to say that. What is that, a hyacinth? Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that not those pretty? But do you realize that each one of those little things are individually glued on there? Like, I'm like, cute. But that's a wow, like, really? Like interesting. It's like interesting, but cool at the same time. Okay. And you get the you get the flowers and you get the leaves. And this is where you put those on top of there. And it tells you right here how many you need. Like one, two, three. Kind of cool to get that numbering system on. I never noticed that before. Cool though, right? Um, next up we have this is a new um, paper pack from Stampira. This is called Amazonia. So you get all of these Amazon um, paper pack. So you get um, let's see, eight by eight, ten double sided. So here are your double sides. I think aren't those cool? And then we have this one's called uh, Sir Vagabond. So you, you get all these little vintagey old clock stuff. And here, same thing from Stamperia 10 double sided sheets. So there are your double sides. Very vintagey. Very cool. I think they're pretty. Um, then we have this Lawn Fawn Perfectly Plaid paper pad. This is Perfectly Plaid Remix. This is like a mixture of 
different ones from their plaid paper collections. So we have that. Um, then we have this ladybug and leaf die from Lawn Farm. So it creates that ladybug, and then you get that little leaf as well. Kind of cool. Then we have from Lawn Fawn, this one is Slimline Grassy Hill Side Border. So this will make for your Slimline cards a grassy hill going across your Slimline card. We have that. Then we have from Dina. Um, this is a stencil. You've got words on it. So you can kind of pick and choose how you want your words to go onto your project. This one is called Mantras. So there's a lot of choices here. Everything, the secret, keep going, go out and love someone. Like you say, go out and see the world. Like there's so many different opportunities that you can use. Be amazed at you. Like you can do so much stuff with this. This is cool if you're an art journaler. Okay, so we have that. From MFT, we have this um, out of the box die. Our dynamics. Okay. Then we have from Dilusions this stamp set. This one is called I Believe in Unicorns. You got a unicorn, got a giraffe, got an elephant, and a zebra. Sentiments The more I see a man, the more I love animals. Every animal knows more than you do. I believe in unicorns. Cute set. I like the elephant the most, to be honest with you. So we have that. And this is cool. I thought this was awesome. This is actually white glitter cardstock that you can print on with your inkjet printer. So you basically can make your own um, ephemera, your own card panels, whatever you want. Like you can print out your own. Anything you want, pretty much, as long as the inkjet printer works with this. So this is 8.5 by 11. You get 15 pieces in there. Um, it's 104-pound weight, 280 GSM. Like I said, so like I said, it's inkjet compatible. So like I said, and it's, a, it's the smooth glitter. It's not the rough glitter, so it's not going to ruin your printer, just so you know. It's smooth cardstock because I can feel it in there. So that is, I thought this was awesome stuff. I don't know how I found this, but I did. I want to see who makes it. Let me see who makes this. Kind of interested to know. Um, 2020 Paris Corporation Printworks is a brand of Paris Corporation. Never heard of them. Um, got that. I thought that was cool. Um, then we have some. This is from Concord and Knife. This one is, is like a card front. This is the thick plaid card front from Concord and Knife. Just so you can see that. It's, I'll be placing order next week. I need some of that gorgeous papers from Italy. Oh, yes, ma'am. No problem. No problem, Miss Leah. That's cool. Thank you. Um, this one is called, this is the Lady Vagabond. So you have the ladies in this one to go along with the um, um, the Sir Vagabond. And it's 10 double-sided pieces of paper. This is one of those ones that are kind of perfect to make mini albums with so you can see both sides. So that's kind of cool. Um, then we have, this is that chipboard that goes along with that Stamperia paper pack that I showed you earlier. So these are the chipboard pieces. These are cool. These are gorgeous. And called Sea Dream is what it's called. We've got that. Then we have this stencil from Kaiser Craft. Um, I don't know what this one's called. It looks like crackle to me, but I don't know what it's called. This is an Australia company, just so in case you were curious. Um, then we have this one from Kaiser Craft too. Then we have this stamp and die combo from um, Hero Arts. 
and I'm sure y'all recognize these lovely ladies, Miss Dana Joy and Miss Pocono Pam. This is their stamp set um, in collaboration with um, Hero Arts. So you layer and then it'll cut out, the dye will cut out the, uh, the face with the hair. So it's kind of this, that's exactly what you kind of get going on up here. You can kind of do whatever you want to do. And you use ink pads, so you don't have to color. That's the one good thing about this set. It's part of the Unity collection, in case you, that's curious. Um, you need to get that Sea Dream. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, you don't really have to color because all the flowers get inked in with your ink faces as well get inked in with ever ink that you choose. I think that's kind of cool. And the sentiments are gorgeous. Like I like the sentiments and really bold. So that's a cool stamp set. Uh, next up we have mixed meat. Oh, I already showed you the profile, so you don't need to see that again. Next up is from Concord and Ninth. This is another card front panel. This is the thin plaid card front panel. So you cut these out and you just put them on your card fronts. So I think it's really cool because it cuts the whole thing out just so you know. Like it doesn't leave – like if you cut your cardstock down and just does the inside of it, it just cuts completely out because you can see the blades all the way along the side. In case you were curious if that just cuts out the center of your panel, that this is your panel. Like it cuts it out completely. So I highly recommend um, putting that back onto some sticky paper, you know, so that's that one. And then we have from LDRS, which means Little Darling Rubber Stamps. So we have this Carefree Gnomes. If you like gnomes and you like the color images, this is the Carefree Gnomes. Okay, cute. Then we have this one from LDRS called Build a Tree, which can kind of coordinate with your little gnomes. So you have Build a Tree. Then you have this one called A Day in the Park. That was cute. So we have those. Then we have this from Authentic. Um, this paper pack, this is 12 by 12 um, collection, 14 double-sided papers. So these are kind of the papers that you get right here. Kind of cool. And a better look at the back side of it as well. This is one of the pieces of paper in there. Like cool. The gnomes are adorable, huh? This one's called Youngster. I guess that's the name of the panel. Um, then we have some chipboard pieces from Echo Park. Um, I'm guessing like an adventure one, like outside zoo-ish. So these are some chipboard pieces from Echo Park. And then we have a stamp set from Concord and Ninth called Dotted Fill-In Stamp Set. Like you stamp it, and then you can fill it in down here with those stamps. Make them different colors. Like so you have your own little polka dot paper. So that's kind of what that is. Um, then we have some Gina K glitz glitter gel. This is called grass green. Um, then we have some rainbow washi. Isn't this just pretty? You know how hard it is for me not to keep both of these for myself. But these are some rainbow washi. Too pretty. Love it. Um, next up we have this is from Tim Holtz. Vignette frames. These are nice. These are very nice. Okay. You may hear from Poppy Stamps. This is a big U die. I like that. It's called Luscious Script U. Okay. 
Then we have from Concord and Ninth, this is a dots and hearts. Dots and hearts dies. Dots and hearts dies. Okay. That'll work. Um, then we have from Studio Katia. Um, this is some chunky numbers. Okay. Also from Studio Katia. Um, confetti kindness. This says throw kindness around like confetti. So that's a little stamp set. Then we have from MFT or My Favorite Things. This one is called um, Interactive Pull Tabs Die. Okay. Then from LDRS, we have a paper pack. I believe this is. I'm trying to see what it's called. Looks like Christmassy to me. We have that paper pack from LDRS. Very, very nice though. Very nice. I already showed you all that one. Then we have from Hero Arts. We have this stamp set. Um, uh, this one is called. Um, ooh. Under the sea. I call under the sea. Then we have from Impression Obsession. You got this stamp set, um, watercolor butterfly garden. I love silhouettes. I love silhouettes, especially to use with your pigment inks. And then we have. I only have a few of these left because I already these are already in the store and some people already snagged them up. These are the toilet tissue brads. The toilet and toilet tissue and Kleenex. So you get um I think it's too cool. I think these are cool. Okay. Try to lose stuff. Alright, only got a few more items left. Um, and we have from Studio Katia. This one's called Cactus Hugs. Okay. And then we have some from, we have some um, enamel dots from Simple Stories. Then from My Favorite Things, we have this stamp set called um, Sweet Spring Friends. From Echo Park, we have some frames and tags. Um, this one is called Animal Safari. Then we have a set called Animal Safari. I'm assuming they're the same one, right, Tony? No, they're not. There are two different ones. This one's frames and tags. This is ephemera die cut pieces. We have those. Then we have this. Say it with stamps. This is a bracket and tag die. These are kind of cool. This is what you get inside of there. That is nice. That's nice. I like that. I just like I like this one right here. Like I know I've not seen a tag die like that before. Hmm. This is from Prima. These are some wood embellishments from Prima. Okay, and like I say, we're almost done. Um, we have a foil die. If you have that foil machine, this is the, from the Gemini Crafts Companion. Thinking of you. Okay. Then we have um, some alcohol inks from Tim Holtz. Then we have some. This is from Stamplistic. This is embossing dust, black laced. So this is baby elephant. I'm assuming that's like a gray and a black in there. I just like this jar. This jar is pretty. But it's like um, black and gray embossing powder. Okay. There's one more of those. I got already showed you that. I think we're down to the last little pile, I believe. Right, I think so, yes. All right, next up we have the 
frosted crystal embossing powder. This is the one that um, like Tim Holtz was using with the chalk and kind of get that effect. The water seals the chalk and you use this embossing powder. So that's that one. Then we have these little mini notebooks. Aren't these, aren't these stinking cute from Lawn Farm? Plaid. Little plaid notebooks. Like shut the front door. These are too cute. I love them. Um, then we have um, this. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a Japonica flower dye from Spellbinders. This one's pretty too. And then we have from iCrafter and Linda Kanasi, who is the owner of iCrafter. If nobody is not familiar with her, or if you are familiar with her, she used to be a designer for Sizzix. Um, she used to design dyes for Sizzix, if you recognize her. So this makes, you can cut out and you can create this little rainbow and make the little tassels and all of that. So this is that composition. Okay. Can we have that one? Then we have this bloop, bloop enamel pen from, this is Lawn Fawn. Okay. And then we have from Studio Katia, this is Best Friends. All these little, get little kitty cats and the puppy dogs going on up in there. Isn't that just adorable from Studio Katia? Um, then we have also from Studio Katia, this one is called Craftastic stamp set. I'm just putting stuff back in the box. I apologize. We have that. Then we have um, from Lawn Fawn. This one's called um, Into the Woods. So these are the different papers that you get in here. And you get a six by six. I think you get 36 sheets and 12 coordinating designs. So three of each one. Cute. And then we have this stamp and die set called 34th Street from LDRS. So you have the little camper in the truck pulling the little houses. I think called 34th Street. And 34th Street is, you know, Christmas home for the holidays. And the last thing that we're going, because we're going to use this in our little demo is some black watercolor paper. I've been waiting for this stuff for quite some time, um, and this is from Hero Arts. So that is the last thing that I have to show you all as far as new items coming to the store. Like I said, if you're ever looking for something in particular, always reach out and let me know, and I will do my best to get them for you. So this is watercolor paper. You get um, eight sheets. It's 140 pounds. Um, it is five and a half by eight and a half. And this is, like I said, black watercolor, which is great for metallics, um, pearly ones, and to pick up those type of things. So if you're interested, these are awesome. So this is going to be fun. So I went ahead and on the eight and a half side, I cut it down in half. So these are four and a quarter. And chances are I probably didn't cut perfectly. I will say when you cut this down, I was having a little bit of trouble with my Cricut trimmer. If you have a guillotine, I highly recommend using that one because it worked a lot better for me. So this is this one I cut a little bit bigger than it should be, four and a half, but that's okay because I can always trim it down. It means the one that's already four inches is okay because it winds up being a panel. So I got four, um, and like I said, we're going to play around with these liquid pearls. Um, because I realized I have all these liquid pearls, and I, I honestly can say I've never used them. There are some duplicates in here, yes. Um, there are some ones down here that don't have names on them, because I do believe these came in packs that I probably purchased from Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby, one of those three. So I know that's what those are, and but these up here have names on them. The ones that have names, I will tell you, but we're going to swatch each one of these out just because we can, because um, I want to I see how this works. 
because if it works really well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use what I have and use them up. And I do have metallic watercolors. Um, so if this black water, this black cardstock watercolor paper works really well, and I know there's another brand that is used out there by a lot of um, a lot of folks. Um, I got I don't know, yeah I got this container it's an art bin container that I probably got from Joanne's. It's an art bin holds you put your alcohol inks in here and stuff like that. So I just swapped them out and put the perfect per liquid pearls in there and tried those out. So with that being said. Let's go ahead and get ourselves started. I'm going to just use an acrylic block to put the pearls on. So I'm going to squash out four at a time. Um, so here we have, I think these are the same one. They look different to me, but this one's ivy green. So we'll, we'll, I got three ivy greens, to be honest with you. How that happened, I don't know. This one is, I'm not going to do that one. We'll do that next. Um, we have... This one's called avocado. These are greens. I mean, I can put them all together. One at garden, avocado, ivy green. Um, then we have um, orchid. And then we have um, hot cocoa. Okay. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out on each one. I'm going to tap it. So we so it doesn't burp on us. Like so, we're just gonna put a little bit. I don't know if I gotta cut the top off of there or not. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe this just clogged. Maybe I did use these after all. But you know what? These little things pop off. That much I do know, but it don't want to come off. Let's see if we have any luck with this orchid. Yeah, okay. That one came out. We got that one. Um, we'll try that orchid. I mean, the other one again. This one's ivy green. They just look, they look pretty just by themselves. Oh, and you can use these as dimensionals too. Look at that one. This one is the garden. And you can paint your stamped images and stuff with this too, not just make a little background like I'm playing, like swatching backgrounds, whatever. This one is the avocado. Yeah, this one doesn't want to come out either. I was hoping I had my little um, pokey tool over there. Let me see. Do I have my pokey tool? Pokey tool. Nah. I don't have one over here. But that's okay. But if we can't get around to it, it's, a, it's not a big deal. I'll have to deal with them later. Okay. So... We'll deal with those colors. So I know this one's not coming out, and this hot cocoa don't want to come out either. I can see it trying to, but it's like nope. But that's okay. So we're just going to grab a um, paintbrush. If you have a water brush, you can most certainly do that too. And don't do what I just did spill water on your iPad. So I'm going to use. Let's go with this round brush. Oh, actually, let's use this one. I haven't used this one. And we're going to pull this out. It's just a bigger one. And I'm just going to grab some water out this cup. And I'm going to put it on here. And I'm just going to spread and swirl it around. Now it's ready for the magic. Ooh. That's pretty. Grab some more water if you want. So get that moving. That's pretty. That is pretty. Look how pretty that is. See that shimmer? That's pretty. 
you can use the pin. Ah, it's a good idea too. A pin. That's pretty. So that is that orchid paper towel. That one was pretty. And this, I believe, is I don't remember. That's pretty too. It looks good in that black watercolor paper. Okay, then we got this green. I'm going to put it down here. And then we'll come back to this one after we do some other ones to see how it looks when it dries back some. Because what you would, I think would be cool is if you heat emboss it, um, something on the top in white, that would really be awesome. But what I can see on the camera, it looks amazing. All right. I'm just going to clean that off. And let's see the next colors that we have coming up. This, I believe, is called pumpkin. That was pretty. And a lot of these I had gotten in a mystery box from Ranger. So that's the pumpkin. Um, then we have this one. Oh, that was pretty. I'm trying to see what's the name of this color. It's too dark. Um, blackberry. Ooh, that one's pretty. Blackberry. Um, this one is called Juniper. Okay. That one's pretty. Now what I'm gonna try, like I wanna try something. Like no, like not with, with without the water. You know, like no water. I'm just curious at what it looks like without water. Let's go at the top. Yeah, it works without water. The water just gives it a little bit more fluid look. But without the water, it's pretty cool. It's a little bit more opaque, so that would be kind. Of, that's kind of cool without the water. You know, you can get that. This would be cool to color in images and flowers and stuff. That's cool. That's pretty dope. All right, so let's try them with water. Go with that juniper. That one's pretty. I'm going to go that purple. That purple is pretty too. Um, where is my art glitter glue at? I don't have a pin in it. In my art glitter glue. It just has the top on it. I don't have my pen in there anymore. And this is the pumpkin. That's pretty too. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. You really can get that different effect, like a little bit of water, a lot of water, no water. Kind of cool. But the watercolor paper is holding up pretty well as far as, you know, with the water, it's holding up really well. It's really thick. Um, the card stack is super thick. So next up, we have um, oyster. Isn't it? It's really pretty. Really pretty. So this is the oyster. Ooh, so that's why I want. It's gonna burp at me. Okay, and then we have Flamingo. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. It's 
So I kind of like it with without the water, and I like it with the water. Like it all depends on the effect that you're going for. It's really pretty though. Look, I'm getting all inky. In another piece of paper towel. Okay, then we're gonna go in with the next color. This is like daffodil. That's that's a bright yellow. Okay. Got that one. That one worked, didn't it? Yeah. And this one is called. Um, I can't see what this one's called. And I'm, I'm blind in the dark. That's a pretty blue, whatever it's called. Royal. Royal blue. Royal blue. Okay, it's pretty. Let's try that royal blue. Ay, ay, ay. That's gorgeous. That royal blue is pretty. It's a daffodil. That's pretty. That yellow and blue next to each other. That's nice. I like that yellow and blue. There we got the flamingo. That's pretty too. And then that oyster. That's gorgeous. Very pretty colors, though. You can do a lot with that. You can see painting a lot of flowers and stuff with that and, and all that fun stuff. That's cool. i get another piece. And let's see. Our next color is Buttercup. It all depends on what you want to do with it. Like you can just put it on there and use a texture plate. Um, this one is I just used Buttercup. That's just the one I just used. Um, and just spread it across. This one is called. Um, Majestic Purple. Majestic purple. Um, and this one is called, I think, Garnet. I've only had two so far that won't open. That won't come out. That's not too bad. And this one is called Dark Chocolate. You want to have names like that? You like you almost want to smell it and see if it smells like chocolate. That's just me. I like that one. That one's pretty. Dark chocolate, and that's the garnet. That one's pretty. And it's that majestic purple. That one's pretty. And you can layer on top of these when they dry, too. This is that buttercup. That's that's interesting. Kind of like that, though. I like that buttercup. Mix it a little bit, too, with that purple. It's kind of cool. All right. 
you know, heat emboss something and you can paint inside of it because then you can wipe off any on the top. All right, this one is called, um, I already did dark chocolate, so I must have two dark chocolates. Okay. This one is, these start the ones that do not, do not, do not, do not have names. I guess they just came in sets. And maybe the package had, uh, that one doesn't want to come out. Because I noticed that the ones that don't have barcodes on it don't have names. This doesn't, like I said, this doesn't have a name either, but it's pretty. That one came out. Okay. This is a pretty green. Of course, it doesn't want to come out. And that's the one I wanted to see. All right. We'll have to unclog those. I guess I spoke too soon. It's a pretty blue. But this last bunch, I'm not going to put any water. I want to see what it looks like without water. Um, then we have this one. It's pretty. Yep, it's clogged. Um, we have this one. We have this one. I don't think this one wants to come out. Nope. Another cloggy one. We have this one. I gotta know for sure the ones without um names on them that I've had for a while. So that's why they're not opening. They're cloggy clog because I've never used these before. I don't believe. All right, let's try these without water. Kind of the same effect whether you have water or not. Just it just moves differently. Like I don't see it being any more opaque, wet, or dry. Because depending on how you spread it onto that paper. The last one we have, because I'm out of colors. At least that are working. There you go. So those are that's fun little technique to use up if you have liquid pearls. And like I said, you can also just create dimensionals. Let's see how easy it is um, to create a dimension. Look how sometimes they peek on you and give you that little Hershey kiss. Um, I'm just going to lightly tap it. Okay, it flattens out easily. That's pretty. I mean, that dot is really pretty, though. Okay, I might start using those, too, as, as the dots. That's kind of pretty. Let me, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of put dots of all of them. It moves more smoothly with water. Yes, it does move more smoothly with the water. But it just seems like the effect of it still looks the same. You know, so it's just easier to put down with water. Oh, listen, I kind of like these for dimensionals. That's Those are pretty. Okay. We'll see how these dry in the morning. Um, I might have to start using some of these little bad boys. Because there are some stamps out there. 
Um, I, I do have some of them um, that have where you can put sequence. Like this one's kind of cloggy. Uh, it's not really giving me a good smooth. You like your liquid pearls? Like this one is definitely not doing what I want it to do. So let's... Yeah, this one might be a little bit too thick, but that's okay. So we can flatten it out. Yeah, that one's just a little too thick and peaky, but it could dry out okay. Okay, that one is not coming out. I guess I have a lot more that are clogged than I thought. What do you use your, how do you use your liquid pearls? They do make real, the ones when they come out smoothly and nicely, they do make some nice embellishment pieces. I'll have to say that. I guess I'm going to have to use some of these in my videos, uh, my tutorials. I don't have any of these in the store, I don't believe. I don't think so. That one, that one peaks, and those two are peaking a lot too. But they do. Once you tap it, they they pretty much go down. Pretty good. All right. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? That's what I worry about when you get that air bubble in there. It's best to tap it like this. Before you do it. Okay. I'm going to have to start using these a little more often. I can definitely see myself using it in art journaling and stuff like that too. I put those little dots down and take a palette knife and spread it across. That's the paper you sell in your store. Yeah, I do have this paper. I'm going to put it in the store. It's not there yet, but this is watercolor, Hero Arts black watercolor paper. So you, it can work really well if you have metallic watercolors too. Um, but you know what? I can grab those because I don't need to do any more of those. I kind of, we, I'll kind of get the idea of what the perfect pearls do. I think I have accessibility to some metallic watercolors right yonder. Just to test it, just to test it out how it would work. And I know I do have. Oh, I got some. I know I got some. Seen them earlier today. But of course, it's going to call me a liar. I can use these. Let's see how these look. Let's see how the one that was sitting that we tried first, how it looks. It dries really pretty. Like, look at that. You can kind of see that that's. But it's Hero Arts watercolor paper, black watercolor paper. It dries back really nicely. Hmm, I like that. That's pretty. All right, I'm just curious at how this, we're just going to do one. Or these are the Gonzi Tombi. These are the gem colors. These are really pretty. Let's see how these look with some watercolor. You know, if you have uh, those mica sprays, it'll do good on this black watercolor paper, too. I'm going to go with this blue. If you can see a little bit of tint to that. Try this 
more gold, yellow gold. Well, so you have to play around with and see what works and what doesn't work. Okay, that works great. Now that's pretty. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't even see what I'm doing. My bad. The red and blue, no, the hue is not dark enough. But that gold, the yellow, work really well. So it's more about playing around, see what works and what doesn't work. But you can still see them, just not very prominent on there. But that gold, that yellow, that one's pretty. So I have to figure out what to do with this panel. I'm sure I'll figure out something. Go back and die cut or something with them or just fill it in with some other colors. But that is all I have for everybody tonight. Um, thank you all for joining me. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. I'll try to unclog those perfect pearls and see what we get. Don't know if nobody has any questions. Um, like I said, this. Not a lot of stuff I can't obtain and get. Just remember, with this day and age, it does take a little bit of time for stuff to get here, unfortunately. And out of my doing, a lot of it is not. And none of it's my doing. It's just, you know, the nature of manufacturing right now. And it's really not the raw materials that's the problem. It's like, it's not the product itself. It's the product that they go in. Like, the plastics is the main issue with most of manufacturing right now. It's like getting the containers, you know, and then when Texas had that hard freeze, they have some dial plants there that, you know, there's a problem with producing acrylics and a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully things will get better. Sooner rather than later. Y'all are so welcome. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, and that's going to be it. So we're going to call it a day. Like I said, if you ever need anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Email, message. Um, you can call me. It, it, either way, it doesn't matter. So I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for supporting our small business. That is, it really is appreciated 100% more than you will ever, 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 ever know. So thank you all so much. And y'all have a crafty night. And I will see you all soon. And bye, Periscope. It was wonderful run. Today, everybody, is the official last day of Periscope for anybody to stream on, which I don't think anybody even came on from Periscope Um because I think everybody pretty much done left and hopped over to HAPS. Um, I do have an account at HAPS, just so you know. Uh, again, I'll post it in a group um, you follow. I'll try to um, – I'll, I'll, I'll attach it to the StreamYard, my profile, and see how it works. I mean, the HAPS thing, I'll give it a shot. Why not, right? All right, everybody, have a crafty night, and I'll see you all later.